Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Shami Eats and Treats. Click on that subscribe button and get ready because today we'll be making menfouf, stuffed cabbage with a twist. To prep the cabbage leaves, I'll put one cabbage in a pot of simmering water and cover it. I only let it sit there for a few minutes, say five or 10 minutes, not too much because you don't want the leaves to get mushy, but you want them to be soft enough just so, so you can easily take it apart. Look how nice and soft those leaves are. Notice how I did remove the core on the bottom before I placed it in the water to make it a little bit easier to remove each leaf. After removing and separating each leaf, I need to prep the leaves. Now, sometimes the stalk or stem of the leaf will be soft. A lot of times uh, it won't. So as you see me doing here, I remove it so it makes it easier to roll the leaf. We're gonna stuff the cabbage leaves with a rice and meat mixture. Here we have one cup of short grain rice that was soaked for five minutes and then drained, and 295 grams of ground meat, and then we are gonna add one teaspoon of allspice, a half a teaspoon of salt. And we're gonna mix them all together. Now, the ratio of meat to rice depends on your liking. Some people like more of a ricey filling. I prefer more of a meaty, meaty filling. Now, let's start stuffing. So we're gonna get one of our leaves, lay it flat, put some meat down the middle, we're gonna roll over and then we're gonna tuck in the sides. The purpose of tucking the sides in is to help keep the meat inside of the leaf. And I apply some pressure. This way it helps keep everything nice and wrapped tightly. Now cooking the cabbage can be done two ways. Here I'm doing more of a meatless style where I just have the parts of the cabbage that I didn't use, which are maybe some little leaves that were torn, I couldn't wrap, the stems or stalks, the center pieces of the cabbage leaves that were too hard, so I cut them out. So I place that all on the bottom of the pot um, if you want more of a meatier dish, then you would take some meat, which preferably I usually like to use lamb chops, and sear them until nicely browned, and then place those on the bottom, and then you would put the cabbage in a circle the way you see me doing it here. Now here I'm adding cloves of garlic. It's about two heads of garlic that are peeled. Now 
Now we'll add enough boiled water that will cover all of the leaves. Now I have a cover that's specifically made to hold down these pieces because if you leave them like that, they're gonna float around. But as you can see, it's too big for my pot. It acts more like a lid. So instead, I'm using um, a salad dish and I hold it down with my howin or mortar, mortar pestle. Uh, for pressure, you can use a can of tomato sauce if you don't have one of these. By now, our pot has been simmering on low for about an hour, so I'm going to remove the plate. Everything looks good, and we're going to add our secret ingredient, which is dibis ramen. I cannot have cabbage without dibis ramen. Dibis ramen is pomegranate molasses, and we're going to add a half of a cup. From here, I'll let it simmer a little bit more to get the flavors of the dibis into each leaf. Once your meat and rice are all cooked, you're ready to eat. I hope you enjoyed this video and even more, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you did, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up, comment, and be sure to subscribe for more recipes. Till next time!